But then here's where things get interesting. 28% of millennials, so almost one out of three millennials, age 26 to 40, say their parents still are giving them some form of financial support. So this past year, get this, Jenny, I want to get your thoughts on this. 52%, more than half of millennials, were still living in their parents' home. This is the highest number ever. It surpassed the previous record, which was a freaking during World War II in 1940, when 48% of young adults lived with their parents. I'm going to throw a couple stats out there, and then we're going to weigh in on this topic real quick. Okay. So overall, 55% of Americans say their parents have helped them financially at some point during adulthood. So that's over 50%, 55%. That includes things like paying for college, understandable, but then you get into things like living at home rent free, um, buying them a car, that's 16%, and then minor things like paying for their cell phone bill or even car insurance. The average amount that a parents are giving their adult children is $4,200 $4, a year. I almost choked up a little bit, <laughs> take Jenny. A breath, take okay? a breath, take a breath. So on the flip side, 21% of Americans currently provide financial support for their parents. I'm in that category. I help my mama out. So this is me. So bottom line is, for a lot of you young adults out there, thank God for the bank of mom and dad. So here's where I'm going to open it up to the lovely ladies. And Jenny, I'm going to start with you. Be honest. Yes. When did your parents cut you off financially or are your parents still helping you out at all right now? So my parents did help me a lot financially growing up, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm a professional. I was a professional dancer. So I was touring the worlds with different artists. I wasn't home a lot. Mm -hmm. So for me, I didn't find it reasonable to be renting an apartment that I'm not going to be in. Okay, makes sense. With that being said, my parents allowed me to live rent free and save my dollars. Uh -huh. save my mom's an money. accountant. Mm -hmm. All right. That's why I'm really big with financing because I believe that you need to save your money. Mm -hmm. Use it wisely, like still have your fun. I don't need everything sitting in the bank account. However, I was somebody that I didn't I never wanted to rent. I wanted to buy. Okay. So at the age of twenty five I left and I bought myself a place. In Miami. In Miami. Wow. It was my biggest investment. So instead and of investing, by the way, you hit it before everyone started moving to Miami. Yes. Well right? done. Which was which is was crazy, right? Because COVID mm -hmm. just hit, and I was like, uh, now I'm sitting at home and I'm not working. Oh my god. Okay, so you're. I don't want to put your stuff out there, but you're 20. I'm 25. 20, oh. 26. This happened at okay. 25. Yes. And currently, are your parents helping you out at all right now? My car. They help you with your car. My dad's a car. So when dealer, you read so. these stats, are you like a little offended, or you're like, nah, it's no, it's cool. No, I mean, like, I, I, I think, I think. I think it's it's it depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, like you were on the road, it made no sense to have a full right. And my place. dad's a car dealer. That's why I don't hey play my car. You know, so okay. it depends on the situation. Gotcha. Now, I, I I do think parents need to find leeway and have their kids put in the work. Like some kids are sitting at home, like playing video games, eating chips. Like, but if you see your kid putting in the work, some kids are visionaries mm -hmm. and they have they have this dream of being an entrepreneur and creating this stuff. And right now, they're focused on that, and parents are supporting that. And I agree with parents supporting their kids' vision. Mm -hmm. However, I don't believe that they should be just without any responsibilities living rent free there has to be an age gap i mean i don't want, i mean 30 still living at home that's a little bit oh we were gonna, i'm gonna actually get back to that <laughs> nancy know? do your do your parents still help you out financially no my parents actually never really gave me money but the thing is i lived at home for like up until i was 24 okay so as far as helping me out it was just me not paying rent or paying anything gotcha so you paid no rent when you lived at home no did how did you contribute to your family's well-being like, did you do chores? Did you assist with anything? Did you pay the utilities? What were you doing? <laughs> so it's weird because um, I lived with my brother and sister, actually. Okay. So Not your parents, you're saying? No. Yeah, no. My I moved in with my sister. She ended up buying a big house, and then her and my brother shared it. So I just lived there, and they would ask for rent, but I would never give it, and it was just, it was just that. Who would ask for rent and you would never give it? My sister, but it was out of spite. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Like, she was like, hey, give me money. I'm like, okay. And then give me just, money. Give me money. You're like, oh, like no, that was how I was living with my sister for like every month. It was just okay. her asking money for me and my brother. Just to, I mean, right. she could definitely afford it. She Here's my question care. for you, though. Okay. So everyone has, it's situational. Everyone situational has, everyone has reasons. Like you were, you were traveling. I get it. You know, uh, you were living with your sister, but here's my question for you. What is an acceptable age to basically get cut off? from your parents, meaning like, okay, 24, you're traveling. Okay, 26, all right, put it still at 30? Because millennials are, are, are in their late 30s now. What's an acceptable age or an appropriate age for your parents to say, you're done, we're not giving you another freaking penny? What do you think? Whatever the dating age is. What does that mean? 
As in, like, if you're 21 and then you're trying to take someone out, like, it is a little off-putting if they're still living at home, right? Like, for me, like, I wouldn't date mm-hmm. anybody that was still living at home while I'm living alone. So some dude takes you out. He's like, listen, we're going to go out to have a nice dinner. We're going to have a good time. And then we're going to go back to my parents' place and get <laughs> it on. You're not into that. No, not really. <laughs> Jenny, any has a guy ever tried to take you back to his parents' place since, you know, you've been 21 plus? Since 21 plus, no, but I've dated men who are successful. What does that mean? I'm just saying who are, who are not. Oh, like gotcha. You're saying you're home. like, you're like, no, I don't date broke dudes. Yeah. 